Hi everyone. In this video, I'd like to show you how to use these knives. But first a reminder, this is my website. Here you can find my beginner video, video collection. It's free. And right underneath is my advanced. And you can find all these videos on how to make all these flowers. And this is my Facebook page. Please click the like. It will be appreciated. In this video, we're going to make a tulip. The tulip has six petals. And here we go. I will start by making a dot on the napkin so I can identify the center. I will dip this tool in the hot water. I'm not going to use the melon baller for the tulip, but I still need a little bit of dent. To collect the excess color otherwise it will spread all over and it will take too much cleaning we will start by making yellow baby bread for this we use a blunt needle Please refer to my baby breath video. Insert at 90 degrees. Make sure to apply light pressure. You don't want the baby breath to spread too much. We'll make some black pistols. Insert the knife at 90 degrees and make a banana shape cut. A tulip has six pistols, three on the first row and three on the second one. So I'm gonna use this napkin and I will make a banana shape. I'm sorry, I will use this template and make a banana shape from here to here. Insert at 90 degrees. Use a blunt needle to go in, find the cut, and fix the imperfection. Align the bottom of the tool, the dish, with the red line. Again, insert the knife at 90 degrees. Make a banana shape cut. Find the cut and inject color. at 90 degrees and make a banana shape. We can inject a second color just to make it Find 
find the cut and inject the second color. For the second row, we don't need this template anymore. We'll find the space in between, slightly tilted, and a banana shape cut. Find the cut, fill in with color. Again, must use a blunt needle. If you use a pointed needle, you will poke the gelatin. At 90 degrees, banana shape cut. And again, banana shape cut. I'm using a little bit of color to camouflage the empty space. And let's make some grass. Okay, we will now make hibiscus. Hibiscus has five petals. Mark a dot to identify the center. Place the melon roller in hot water. Lean the melon roller on the dish. Rotate, scoop out, but very little. Don't go in too deep. Put it aside. We're going to need it for later. Smooth the surface. I'm using this tool for the center for this. So I will dip it in hot water. And use it to melt the gelatin. If you do not have this tool, you can just use a needle and go in like that.
use a blunt needle to make some baby breath. Do not apply too much pressure. We can make a few more. For this flower, I'm going to use this knife. We need a very thin consistency of gelatin. So we will dip the color in hot water. Make sure it's thin. Shake well to even out the temperature. Fill the pool with colored gelatin. The hibiscus has five petals. We will create them from this point to this point. I'm sorry. Some of you have been complaining about my breathing. So I just wanted to let you know I'm a lung cancer survivor and I suffer from COPD and I use this all the time. So please don't make a joke out of it. Anyway, we will insert the needle and go in with zigzag motion to create a petal. Go back with the needle to fill in the imperfection. As you can see, the color slides right in. Please refer to my beginner video to understand how to use the templates. Make it in a zigzag motion. Practice makes better. Once you'll practice few flowers, you will not need those templates. But as a beginner, I will recommend to use it. As you can see, the color slide right in and it helps me find the cut. If you feel a resistance in the cut, it means that you're not in the cut. This is my hibiscus. Let's go back because I do see some areas without color. You may have a little problem finding the cut in the beginning, but practice. Okay. I'm taking out the axe. 
excess. I'm doing it because some of the color have aftertaste and you don't want a big lump sum in your taste. We will now make some glass. Oh, you can use one of my tools for leaves. Check the pressure. Insert at 10 degrees. make few baby breads. For that we're going to need a blunt needle. One drop the out. Oops, this is a pointed needle. Sorry. Point. There you go. Okay, we'll now make a peony. We'll identify the center. Use the melon bowler. Take out the center. Don't go in too deep. Just a little bit. And scoop out like so. Hot water to smooth the surface. I will now use this one to create the yellow center. Can you see the little hump? Okay. Just a little more. Okay. This is a flexible needle. I'm going to cut it about this much to make sure that all my, pe my pistols will be the same size. If you don't have a flexible needle, you can use any needle. Just make sure that all of them will be the same size. We'll make a few more.
you're gonna need a soft consistency gelatin for this flower. So I'm softening the color in the hot water, shaking to even out the temperature. I can feel that it's a little thick, so I will soften it a little longer. Shake to even out temperature. Now fill the pool. You start by inserting the knife at 90 degrees and, and making a banana shape cut. Again, at 90 degrees, making a banana shape cut. Pushing the color in. We will change the color as it starts to congeal, and when it congeals, it doesn't go in. Fill the pool again with soft color. Now start with a zigzag motion. Let the color slide in right next to it. Change the angle. Check the color. If it starts to congeal, change it. You want to make sure that the pool is full to allow the color to slide right in. Zigzag motion. Next row. Change angle, zigzag motion. You want to make sure that the pool is full, otherwise, the color is not going to slide in. And then you just stand the chance to poke the gelatin. Always in a zigzag motion. Third row, change angle. Please refer to my beginning series to understand spaces and angles. You can see the color congealed in the bottom. We need to mix it.
let me put it on a dark surface fill in some color to camouflage the empty spots not too much Make some leaves. And here is a peony. Okay, we will now make a rose using this knife and this one. Take out the center, do not go in too deep, just a little bit. About this much. Fill the pool with color. For this technique, the color has to be soft. Insert the straw and wiggle it. Okay. Now insert the knife at 90 degrees and make a banana shape cut. Let the color slide in. Make another cut parallel to it. Let the color slide in. We will now make three cuts. Find the seam. Let the color slide in. Two. I will now make five cuts, change the angle slightly, Now change angle, let the color slide in, as you can see every time I insert the knife I don't insert it here but I would go under the previous petal. And 
and let the color slide in. Yellow Roses, Texas. Okay. Take out the color. Check for imperfections. You can go back with the blunt needle and fill in the spaces. I now choose to do to make another row since I have room so I will find the seam in between change angle and let the color slide in The full has to be the pool has to be full all the way so the color will slide in. Or you'll need to go in and find the cut. Better be safe, fill in air bubbles. And the rose is ready. This is your open petal rose. Let me put it on a dark surface. Thank you for watching. And please don't forget to like my Facebook page. Thank you.